Nancy, your question is about whether it's worth starting a YouTube channel without a strategy or a keyword plan, search, you know, search engine optimization plan for SEO plan for YouTube. Is it worth it just put whatever out there on YouTube? Um, uh, Nancy says, I follow a YouTube strategist who says it confuses the algorithm and hurts your business if you have no plan. Um, so I appreciate the question. And I'll have to say, even though I have 15,000 subscribers on YouTube, which took me years to get to, get to um, I'm not a YouTube SEO expert. I have probably studied more of it than most, most people watching this. So, and I have obviously studied marketing for over a decade. And so I have a good intuition about SEO and, and this kind of stuff and lots of experience on YouTube. And I will tell you this, the algorithm is very forgiving on YouTube and Google as well, and Facebook. Actually, algorithms everywhere are, are quite forgiving. What I mean by that is um, don't let it stop you from uploading content, posting content that you feel is of benefit value to your audience because what that YouTube strategist is saying, how it hurts the algorithm. I say, I've, I, I've said the same thing, actually, for those of you who follow me for a while, I've said the same thing about Facebook and Instagram, where I, I tell you, okay, you're going to post selfies, right? You're going to post pictures of cats and cute, you know, animals or whatever. It hurt. I've, I've said this in other videos, it hurts your Facebook and Instagram algorithm because you get a giant bump for that cute animal or that selfie. And then your next post is not a cute animal or selfie. And it kind of goes down and then confuses the algorithm. I've said this too, right? It's a confuse the algorithm, like oh, an occasional bump, but the algorithm is forgiving every day. The algorithm resets itself. What, 24 hours, George? 48 hours? Four hours? Nobody knows, right? Nobody can tell you for sure because they keep, keep that stuff under lock and key. Um, but I do know, I do know that the algorithm resets itself constantly. And every time I have something that's done really well and the next thing doesn't, next five things don't do well, it's okay. Because if I post something that's aligned again with the audience, it suddenly does well again. So in other words, uh, so let's be more specific about the YouTube algorithm. It's a, this is what we know. This is what YouTube has put out there. YouTube official has put out there. The YouTube algorithm works by the, it, the, the, the YouTube algorithm is not the algorithm for everyone. It's the algorithm for each relationship between viewer and creator. There's actually a separate algorithm for each relationship. The algorithm, better to say, the algorithm works. The formula works within each relationship. So in other words, so I'll speak to Nancy since Nancy's asking this question. So Nancy, let's say I made a video today with, a, with my dog buddy and it's a cute video, dog video. And then, uh, and then you, you watch the whole thing. So YouTube algorithm works based on the time of engagement of that, with that video. It, the length of video watch, percentage of video watched um, for that video, plus any likes, comments, shares. Um, okay, so, um, and also it works also by the next few videos that you watch, is it the same theme? As the one you just watched, because then they'll, they'll they'll learn. Oh, Nancy likes the cute dog videos. We're going to show her more cute dog videos from from other channels that have that kind of content. So that's what the strategist means by messing up the algorithm. Because what if I made a cute dog video, and then the next video I make is about marketing with no dog in it, and you watched three sec, you, you, it shows up on your YouTube home screen and you don't see a dog there. And so you just scroll past it. That trains the algorithm to say, oh, Nancy, you don't like George's marketing content. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to less likely show that to you. But however, if I have another marketing video that does really well among my viewers and you're one of my, among my subscribers and you're one of my subscribers, it'll try it again. It'll keep, test, it, it'll keep testing that relationship. It keeps testing the relationship with, I, I know you didn't like marketing stuff before, but this one did really well with other viewers like you. So maybe you'll try it again. They'll show it to you again to give you another test. So that's why the algorithm consistently resets. Now, it, it won't do that test very often. Like if you already proved that you didn't like that topic, it's not gonna keep testing you on that, but they'll test you every now and then to say, this did really well on that topic. Of all of George's last 10 videos about marketing, this one did particularly well with the viewers like you. Let's see if you'll let you watch it. And if you watched it and you watch it all the way through, then the algorithm goes, hmm. 
we thought you didn't like the marketing topic, but maybe you do. So we'll test you more often on that topic. You see how it's always testing, always adjusting itself. So for example, or maybe next video I make of the, my dog, Buddy, you didn't like it. You, didn't, you watched 1% of the video and then you went to the next video about something totally different. YouTube goes, hmm, maybe Nancy's interest in dogs is cooling. So we'll show her less of that going. We'll still show her more than the average person because she, she proved she liked that in the past. We'll show her a little bit less of it. Test her, test her. So it's always testing you to see what topics you like and it'll adjust more or less based on that. So does that makes sense. So it's not that it messes you you're up. So back to the, the, the original question, should you start a YouTube channel without that kind of plan? Yes, you should, because YouTube algorithm also works in a mysterious, in an amazing way that it often features old videos, years ago videos to say you, 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 may have, you may have missed this one. You like the dog videos from George. And did you know he made a dog, dog video with Buddy four years ago? You probably missed. So, so the longer you, your videos are on YouTube, the more the algorithm works for that video. So this is why I urge you, all of you, in, today, as soon as possible, upload as many videos as you can on YouTube because you start the process of the algorithm recognizing that, oh, that's on that dog topic. Oh, that's on the marketing. That's on the self-care topic. Oh, that's on the meditation topic. Oh, that's on the, you know, whatever, X, Y, Z topic. That's on the embodiment topic. That's on the somatic topic, whatever. So in, as soon as possible, uh, YouTube is a lottery. And the sooner you play, and it's free. And each ticket is a YouTube video with keywords that you want to optimize in the, in the title. The sooner you play the lottery, the more you play, the more chances you have at winning. And it's easier to win the YouTube lottery than it is the California state lottery. I can promise you that. So I, <laughs> I hope this helps. Uh, one more thing. I, I, I really mean, like, my most popular video was the video I made about I, I made a Zoom tutorial, tutorial about how to use Zoom. In 2017, I made that video. My clients kind of liked it. It had a couple hundred views in the first, you know, month or two. And then, you know, as Zoom got more popular, it started getting a few thousand views. And then the pandemic hit. Millions of views. So now my, my video has, like, my video now has like 3 million views. Most of those 3 million, like two and a half of those 3 million happened starting in 2020, three years after the video was put up, three years. And, I've, and I made another video called um, How to Think About Money is the Root of All Evil. Hint, money is not the root of all evil. But anyway, so, but how do I interpret that from the, from the Bible? I'm not a biblical scholar, but I, knew, I know about that line. I studied that line a little bit. So I made a video about that. like eight years ago, or nine, 10, long, long time ago, anyway. And it, it got, tra it, I mean, let's say, I, mean, I think I made it sometime in 2013, 2014, something like that, maybe 2014. It didn't get traction until like 2019, like five years later, suddenly, like, I, I don't know what happened, right? Maybe some other influencer started talking about that topic. And then mine started being introduced because they're like, oh, if you like the money, root of all evil topic, you're going to like this one too from five years ago. And then it's gotten, it's, it's gotten more and more. 2022, the, I'm recording this eight years after that video, and it's still getting, it's still one of my top videos. So the sooner you put your lottery tickets in for the YouTube, the, each video is a lottery ticket you're buying for free or not for free, except your time, maybe some editing costs if you want to do, I don't do editing, but put your, buy, <laughs> buy those lottery tickets. It's free monetarily for most of us. And every YouTube video put out there is the, the clock starts and the longer the, the video the is there, the better, the better of a chance it has. So go for it.